All right, and hello everyone, it is me, Jay Burns, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you the Alpha Loom template for my Peppermint's design. So, here it is. So, this is just one little section of the bracelet. This is supposed to be a bracelet, so this is the Peppermint's bracelet. And, yeah, so how you would go about making this design is what you would do is you would pause the video here and you would just go through the template exactly so you would look at the columns here on the top and then also the rows here on the side and just follow the template exactly making the design and then once you've gone through this little template once you can go back to the beginning of the template and start over to make the next peppermint in the bracelet and you would keep going through this template over and over until you make the design long enough so it will fit around your wrist or however long you need to make it. Alright, so also anyway, in the description I will have a link to several tutorials that will show you how you can make this design on the Alpha Loom if you're not sure, also how you can make it on a Rainbow Loom or just any loom that's like one, or you can make it or and a template oh gosh and a tutorial that shows you how to make any alpha loom design without a loom so pretty much with two pins and i'll have a link to all those tutorials in the description and yeah it'll also give you some tips on how to keep track of where you are in the template as you're making your design so anyway also i'm going to go ahead and just explain the colors for this design so the minimum number of colors you will need for this design is three and I have three colors back here and so you will need one color for the stripes and the peppermint you'll need one color for the actual peppermint and then one color for the background and here in the template I have red squares representing the stripes white squares representing the rest of the peppermint and then also white bands and then yellow squares are representing the background and yellow bands back here. Then there's one more group of rubber bands you'll need and these are the connecting bands or the connector bands and they are usually clear but you can make them whatever color you want but I would recommend you make them just the regular rubber bands so as you can see here I have alpha bands which are really small and tiny I would recommend using just regular bands so clear regular bands for the connector bands since this design is seven rows wide, as you can see. Alright, so here's just an example of the design as a bracelet. And I used alpha bands for the example here. And I alternated the color of the stripes in the background with each other. So I have red stripes and a green background here. And then green stripes and a red background here. And... Sorry if you're colorblind and you can't really tell the difference, but <laughs> yeah. For this design, I would recommend using alpha bands or capped regular bands. And by capped regular bands, what you would do is you would take a rubber band and you would change it into a cap band. So to do that, you would take the band, twist it, so you get an 8 or an infinity shape, and then fold it like a book back on top of itself. And then you have a cap band here. And this is what you would use for, instead of an alpha band, if you don't have any of those. And they actually end up being almost the same size as an alpha band, as you can see here. And, yeah, so if you don't have alpha bands, then you should use a capped regular band, because that is what looks best for this design. Regular bands are a little bit too big or something, they're like a little too long in my opinion, but... What I prefer, or what I think is best, is alpha bands, of course. So, yeah. Also, or, well, actually, that's it. So, if you want to use this template here, I actually have other templates, other versions of this template here. I have a version of this template where the stripes are two different colors. I have green stripes and red stripes. Once again, I'm sorry if you're colorblind, but... <laughs> I have another template version where the stripes are different colors 
and you can actually see this template on a website which I'll have linked down in the description and it will also have other templates on that website as well and yeah and also if you want to make some more alpha loom designs use some other alpha loom templates and see other designs you can make bracelets like this then I will have a link to that website my playlist where I showcase to show you some of the different templates and also I will have a link to Rainbow Loom's website where they have some Alpha Loom templates as well and yeah so anyway if you need to go through and make the design I'll go ahead and hold the template still so you can pause the video and yeah so go ahead through make the design you need and use the pause button if you need to and that's pretty much all I have to say for this tutorial other than thanks for watching and bye